Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm out exploring new locations. Fuel prices are ridiculously high right now, so I need new locations closer to home for yeah, landscape photography and wildlife photography. And I thought I would take this opportunity to give you some advices on how to improve your own photography. And that's actually something that I want to include more of in my videos, because I want you to get as much value as possible out of watching my videos. So yeah, I want to give uh, one advice today. It's a technique that I'm using myself as well. But first I want to share something else with you. <laughs> and it's uh, something that I've seen uh, on television in news and I have read it in newspapers and uh, yeah apparently landowners have a big problem with moose damaging the vegetation on their land and I thought ah, it could not be that big of a problem but I actually might have to rethink that so yeah let's get out of the car and I'll show you and we'll get back into photography tips soon Yeah, I get why the landowners are upset. This looks really bad. But I don't think a single moose could have done all this by himself. I imagine there would have been at least two or even three moose here. Uh, yeah, let me spin the camera around and show you. Have a look at this. Jokes aside, I have no real problem with logging of trees, but come on, <laughs> isn't there a better way to do this? I know we need paper products and wooden products, but I really do hope that in the future we can do this in a better way, that it's better for nature. Okay, enough of this. Uh, let's get back into the topic of the video, photography tips. And I will be doing that from inside of my car. I don't have a fancy camper van like other popular YouTubers, but yeah, this suits me really great. So let's get inside. So what I wanted to talk about is just a simple technique on how to improve your photography. Okay, here it is. Look at photographs. Let me elaborate. When we go out on a photo shoot, might be wildlife, landscape, portrait, any other type of photography. We carry with us a predetermined catalog of images, a set of compositions and techniques that we know works and that we like. And if we stick to this catalog of images, our skill level stays the same. But if we want to improve on our photography, looking at photographs is a really great way to fine tune and update that inner catalog of images. And don't just look at photos, do it consciously. What is it that you like in the photo? How is the composition composed? What kind of lighting has been used in a portrait that you like and so on? And maybe you have a favorite photographer. Look at that person's photos and try to figure out what makes them compelling to you. And then you simply copy that. And I don't mean to copy their photos. I mean, try and copy their techniques. And the next step is to look at your own photos in the same kind of manner. If you have a specific shot that you have captured and you like, how could you improve on that? Could you have done anything better and so on? And Looking at other photographers' work is a great inspiration, of course, but when you start to look at your own photography in a constructive manner, that's when you really start to improve on your own photography. That's when you, over time, create your own unique photos. So that's really great. Look at your own photos with a constructive manner. Okay, that's it. A simple technique to use 
and you don't really have to be physically out shooting to improve your photography. You could, you could be at home looking at photos and still improve on your own photography. Right, so I hope that made sense to you. I know it's far into the video, but I think the topic of the video might have attracted some new viewers to my channel. So I will just run a quick channel introduction for you new guys. My name is Thomas and I'm a landscape photography enthusiast. I live in Sweden and this is my landscape photography channel. I do solo hiking and camping, exploration of new locations. I like to include wildlife and scenes of beautiful nature in my videos. The main focus of the channel is of course landscape photography, which is a big passion of mine. I think you will find my videos to be calm, relaxing and even a source of inspiration for your own photography. If you like the content of my channel, don't forget to press the subscribe button. I'm very grateful for your support. Okay, back to this week's video. Where was I? Yeah, that's right. I'm out exploring a new location. seen this location on a map before but from what I can see it looks really promising uh, and what I'm hoping for is some black grouses there are no black grouses down there right now but early in the morning there might be and this is a perfect spot to sleep in the car as well there's just like a hundred meters down to the tarn and what I hope for is to get some photographs of black grouses. I just recently made a video with black grouses lecking. Uh, and it's beginning of May right now, so there might still be some black grouses lecking. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to go down there and see if there's some potential here. This location really has some potential. There's some birds here and this mire here around the tarn is really nice for black grouses. So I'm thinking I will put up my photo blind somewhere here, maybe close to the bushes here. Uh, so yeah, I even saw some animal path from the drone footage. So it's probably moose tracks. But this is a really nice spot. So yeah, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna go back to the car and uh, actually prepare for tomorrow. So see you early morning tomorrow. I had no clue if any black grouses would show up, but I didn't have to wait long until the first one arrived at the mire, and two more joined the lecking shortly after the first one.
I wanted to capture a photograph with a black grouse within a landscape shot, and this was my best attempt this morning. I stayed in my photo blind long beyond sunrise. I didn't want to disrupt them. Eventually they stopped their licking and flew away. That's it, that's all I had for this week. I guess the video was a little bit all over the place, but I still hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like the content. Thank you all for watching, until next time, take care, bye bye.